Hey there dudes, what is up and welcome back to some more Minecraft. My name is Regarth and today we are playing some more of the New World Mod Pack. So um, yeah, last episode basically what we did was we explored a little bit. We, uh, we managed to find this place that I'm in right now. And uh, we built a little orchard in the, the beginnings of my house. So uh, it's looking pretty nice, I like it. I'm probably going to carve out some new windows and do a few more things and craft a few more things. But I also noticed something um, uh, on the beginning of this episode. So I'm going to go check that out right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So I was I was wandering around uh, doing the beginning of the episode, making the recording, and I noticed something over here in town. So um, just to be safe, I'm actually going to make myself a sword first because I don't know if it's going to be dangerous or not. Go ahead and hop in here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll just deposit my money in here for now. I wish these would combine. I wonder if there is a way to do that. Maybe if I go on the crafting table and do it. Is there? Yeah, there it is. Now they, did I leave him in the chest? What the heck? Where did the money go? I could have sworn I just took the... Oh, no, it's right there. Is that... Can I make these into something? Okay. I guess not. I guess you have to sell them the way they are. Uh, let's go ahead and make a a sword. Do I have any iron? <laughs> you know, I completely forgot there my iron is. So I completely forgot about everything. Um, I would say it would be prudent for me to also make a some sort of armor. So I'm just going to make a chest plate and leave it at that. Because I don't exactly have a huge amount of resources. I'm also going to put my iron in here. Put my chest plate on, grab my sword, and let's head out. So I'm going to go check this thing out. Um, it looks like some sort of corruption. I don't know if things are going to spawn here or something. Uh, but let's go check it out. Let's go see what's going on over here. I'm also going to go harvest my trees right after this. Because that's important, because I need a lot of wood for my house. I might actually make a new uh, orchard for a different type of tree. Maybe, Maybe try to grow some of those. I don't know. They look completely out of place. Now this is what I was talking about. Now what the heck is this? Can I mine this? Is this thing dangerous? Not of this world. Oh, it's a... Oh, wow. Okay, so a meteorite struck here. I wonder what I can make with these. I bet I can make stuff with them. Okay, so this isn't actually dangerous. I thought this was going to be like super dangerous, but it turns out it's not. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently I can make a helmet and a chest plate, but that's all the shaped crafting, unless if... No, okay, so that's great. So I can make all the armor with it. I can make tools, a sword, shovel, a block, a shield, Huh, I wonder how that works. Maybe you put it in your house and your house can't be hit by meteorites. That might actually be worth investing in. Protected land tester. I don't even know what that means. That might be even a multiplayer thing. Wow, what is all this stuff? Jeez, this is crazy. A meteor summoner. That's cool. Maybe I can summon more meteors. Hmm. Okay, well, let's collect a bunch more of this stuff because it looks to be pretty useful. Alrighty guys, so I basically mined until my pickaxe broke, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get out of here. So I got a lot of it, let's see, I got 29. So I hope to be making some nice armor out of that or something. So let's go ahead and, since it's nighttime, let's head back home. 
dodge the skeleton here. Ow, he still shot me. Yeah, what a bastard. Look at him, he's chasing after me too. So, uh, I also have some a few minor improvements to do to my house. Actually, let's kill this, kill this piggy for his uh, delicious, delicious bacon. And uh, sprint right on home. So yeah, I have a few improvements to do to my house, and namely that is this corner over here, which proved to be a problem at the end of the last episode. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and break out this uh, this grass here. Okay, so let's go ahead and since I got the meteorite chips, um, I already have an iron breastplate, so I'm just gonna make meteorite pants. And they say, oh, that just puts them on. It said, didn't it say right click to enchant? I could have sworn that that's what that said. Um, what is this called? EO. Right click while in hand to add enchantments. Hmm. Wow, so if you see the durability values down there in the right uh, bottom left hand corner, apparently they have a very large amount more durability than the uh, normal iron armor. And they have magnet. Hmm. It says right click in hand, but that just puts it on. Oh well. I'm actually going to, because of the durability, like this is going to be my armor, I think, for a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and. What the hell? Did you hear something walking by? What was that? I could have sworn I just heard footsteps. Am I going crazy? Oh well. Let's go ahead and put these on. Oh, so these don't have them. Oh, there we go. Huh. So, magnetization. I imagine what that does is... And now, this is just a, a guess. Let's go ahead and put my tools... This is going to be my tools chest. Let's go ahead and make myself a better, uh... Actually, do I really need a better axe? I think I'll stick with stone axes. Because, um... You know, the tree capitator mod makes it so that I don't really need the, uh, super high durability axes. It would be pointless to make a diamond axe. I mean, it would last longer, but it doesn't really reduce the time enough to make it worth it. Ha, <laughs> sweet. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these extra leaves here. And grab my saplings and replant my trees. I got a ton of these, so I probably am going to use these in a generator or something. Uh, I don't really know. Maybe generate some power. Keep it in a battery box or something. There we go. So how much wood did I get? I got... 57 oak logs, which is a lot, so I can continue work on my house. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to my house, and maybe considering, I, I'm considering using this, if this is diamond quality, I wonder if this is diamond quality, I wonder if I can mine, like, diamond level, like, obsidian stuff with this. That would be really cool if I could. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and store this for now, maybe research that a bit later and continue back with it um i'm really glad i got the full armor set it looks really kind of silly with my uh with my my uh texture but uh it'll it'll do i guess um you can't see my eyes under my mask but yeah so it's uh it's got automatic enchantments on it which is super cool i really like that and the enchantment is actually pretty useful for mining and stuff so 
We'll have to see about that. So, actually, speaking of which, I think it almost is time to go on a mining trip. I'm going to go ahead and put my blocky blocks in here. Anything of the blocky nature? Um, do they have these? Okay, so sweet. This mod does have the different chests. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself... Do I have enough... Do I have any gold at all? I don't think I do. I don't think I've gone mining at all. I'm going to go ahead and make myself an iron chest. Actually. And then iron all around it. So there we go. I have an iron chest now. Um, and this is how I'm going to have all my chests in the future when I do get enough materials. I'm going to line them up along this wall right here. Actually, should I line them along, along that wall? There's going to be a window here. Yeah, I'll have them right underneath my window. It'll be perfect. Okay, so as you can see, this is just as big as a double chest, I believe. Yeah. It's just the same size. Although, apparently, it's got the default texture on it, which is weird. I really got to work on that texture pack. I did something wrong, I'm pretty sure, because I, a lot of these textures are missing. Like, the, that chest should be definitely in the texture pack if I got the right thing. So, uh, I, I'll be fixing it later. Maybe, actually, I'll fix it... Um, in the next cut I do. But yeah, let's go ahead and hmm. Let's store my miscellaneous kind of organic items and food in here. Coal can go into here. Um and let's this will just be miscellaneous. Let's see. Toss all that crap in there. Fence post, sure, why not? I'll put these over here. And what do I need to... So if I'm going mining, I need a new pickaxe, apparently. Well, it looks like I'm going to go ahead and make it out of this, because I don't have enough for an iron one, and I don't want to go mining with uh, without an iron pickaxe. I don't have any sticks. Oh, and I need to go with wood, too. Can't go mining without wood. That's just dumb. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some sticks. And a brand new pickaxe. X. Huh? Oh, that's right. It requires iron in the... There we go. Alright, guys. Well, looks like it's about time to go mining. And, uh... But, you know, actually, I think I will flesh out my house a little bit first. So let's go ahead and do that. So guys, when I was building my house, I I couldn't really decide what I wanted it to look like at first. But then the more I looked at it, I the more I I figured it would look better as a kind of a barn. Um, and the reason why is because it's made out of wood, and you typically barns are tip, are made out of wood with the wood uh, sidings. If I wanted it to look more like a house, I probably would have built it out of brick. And so I, I wanted something that was. A mixture between a barn and a house so the way I got that kind of look was adding those front windows to the house and then putting flowers in them it, it made it so it, it obviously was a, a more house looking thing because um, you know typically you wouldn't decorate a barn and uh, I wanted something that was a little bit unique that wouldn't be in a barn so I added a, a kind of a deck over my front door I also decided to do this multi-tier roof thing, as you can see I'm building it right there. I didn't put the roof all the way across because I'm actually later on going to build a kind of higher room that sits in the middle of the house. It's going to be a little bit higher up, I would say about four or five blocks, and then it's going to have a second roof over it. And it's going to overhang a little bit on the sides, and I think it'll look fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and get right to that.
guys. So after that, I finished through that, uh, you guys can see that I have almost everything done. I have a full roof over my head now, which is fantastic. No more rain inside my house. No more creepers getting in, stuff like that. But also, there's there's a lot more that still needs to be done. As you can see, like the uh, second story up there is completely unfinished at the moment. Um, I'm not even really too sure if I'm going to add a floor above this. I might just leave it the way it is and bring these walls <coughs> excuse me bring these walls down and um, just uh, make a little stairway in here somewhere maybe or maybe what I'll do is I'll have the stairway be underneath one of these walls like over in this area because I don't have this used for anything yet uh, I said I was going to use my industrial craft stuff over there but I'm really not too sure yet um, I know I'm probably going to get like a uh, what do you call it, a macerator and a few things like that to make my mining a little bit more worthwhile. And I'm definitely... <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. God, I had to clear my throat. I'm a little bit congested at the moment for some reason. Um, but yeah, I was going to add a stairway over here, um, get that all fleshed out, get things working, and of course put a doorway here and some nice little window panes so it looks all nice and pretty. And... Um, yeah, I think that's how that's going to turn out. This is definitely going to be the second floor. I might even add a loft area over this. Since this is three blocks high right here and I can add another one there, I might add a little loft area up there. Who knows what I'll put up there, but uh, it'll be pretty cool. And it'll have, like, I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll end up putting a, a little uh, ladder, maybe maybe along this wall. Yeah, that, that looks like it would be perfect, actually. So let me just... That's definitely going to happen that way, so I'm just going to... Put the wood right there and that uh that farm uh i decided the orchard i decided to make is fantastic i just um i go over here and i collect a bunch of wood every single time and it's always there when i need it although right now it's not terribly full yeah there's only about four trees there or no four five maybe six i don't know there's a lot of trees over there, but it's not as many as there was before. And I actually got one of the large oaks earlier, so that gave me a ton of extra wood. Allowed me to actually finish building my house for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and toss most of my stuff in this chest here. That is using for crafting. I'm going to keep this. This is a food source kind of really crappy one. Toss this zombie brain into here. All that stuff into there. So keep my sword. I don't need a pickaxe for now. Let's go ahead and throw that into here. Or did I say pickaxe? I'm in an axe. Whatever. Um, toss these flax seeds in here. And um, eh, eh, do I want to put those in? No, I'll put them in here. So eventually, I'm gonna make a huge row of these things and have them all nice and organized to what they're supposed to do, and uh, have that all done with. And I'm going to go ahead and toss these two raw beasts into here. And, okay, so, mining. What do I need to bring? Let's see. Let's bring some fir wood. Um, I got some food. I got my armor on. Uh, I got a sword. Uh, I need torches. Do I have any torches? I have two torches. That's not nearly enough. Let's make some more. So let's make 32 more. Oop. There we go. So now I have 34 torches, a pickaxe, a sword, everything I need. Um, I'm also going to go see if I can find a mine shaft. I'm going to start collecting um, string. And I believe... Uh, we'll see if I can, but I believe you can make... Oh, you can't make the canvas bag. Oh, well. I think I actually already did that, now that I think about it. Um, options. Okay, good. Give myself a little bit bigger FOV so I can see a little bit more. Get rid of these guys. These things can actually be used as food, although it's not particularly good food. Um, so yeah, I got this awesome pickaxe too, so now I don't have to uh, 
bother going to collect the ores. Something else to mention that I would like some help with, if any of you guys watching uh, knows anything that might help me with this, but I have recently, uh, while I was, right before actually I did that little time lapse where I finished my house up, I set up the texture pack the way I thought it was supposed to be, but it still doesn't work. I can't figure out why either. It's very bizarre. I do go ahead and get the stacks, the normal stacks texture pack, and then I I get the, there isn't, as far as I can tell, there isn't a new world mod pack version of stacks. I don't think somebody's made the add-on for it. Um, oh, he dropped his head. And, uh, is that just going to stay there? No, it just disappeared. And I, um, I took the... I believe it was just general feed the beast so it, it supported most of the mods that like the most common mods and feed the beast and I put that into the default stacks texture pack and then I put that into my feed the beast folder and applied it and it still doesn't change anything as far as I can tell all the textures are still the default ones and so I don't I mean I don't really know what I did wrong um, as far as I know, I did everything right, but uh, if any of you guys know what I did wrong, or if you have any hints, maybe things that I should try to do next time, uh, just go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll see if I can do that. I would greatly appreciate the help. If I couldn't find anybody else who had the same problem as I did, then I, uh, you know, I've done tons of texture pack stuff before, and I've gotten it to work before, but just this particular time, it just doesn't want to work. Also, I hear lava. I wonder if this version of the minimap has the underground thing. I know the one, I believe it's Rise minimap um, in the Yogcraft mod pack, um, Yogscraft, has a, a cave finder or underground minimap type of thing so that you can actually see the caves when you're underground near you. It's kind of cheaty, but you know. Uh, this pickaxe is fantastic. I'm definitely, I know of another place where this, uh, I guess a meteorite struck that I can go collect more of this. What is this stuff I'm collecting anyway? Zinc? Hmm. Don't know what zinc's used for. I need to get to the lower levels, actually. <laughs> I think this slime is stuck over here. Okay, well, apparently I'm close enough to the surface to hear the uh, hear the rain right now, so I need to definitely get lower down. Oh, uranium. I might actually make a nuclear reactor. I've never done that before, and the reason why is because I'm always terrified that it's going to blow up and uh, destroy everything, and it takes a lot of work to monitor it. And since this is actually a server, not a single player, the world doesn't pause while I'm not here, so I will have to, like, turn it off. Um, while I'm not here, which can be kind of a pain. But maybe what we'll do is I'll have a nuclear reactor, and then I think you can turn them on and off. Don't take my word for it, but I think you can actually turn them on and turn them off with, like, a lever. And so I think what I'll end up doing is trying to do something like that, where whenever I need power, I'll turn it on and then just, uh, kind of leave it be and have it so it charges a battery bank while it's on and that way I don't have to uh, that way I don't have to leave it on all the time and have to maybe worry about it melting down or anything like that alright so I'm not actually getting a whole lot of the stuff that I really wanted uh, I was hoping to get some iron ore and some gold ore, but this cave isn't low enough for gold, and iron just doesn't seem to be that common for some reason. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, no, a dead end. Damn it. I think I might have ah, explored my entire cave. Let's see. I didn't go down there. Uh, let's see. Just take a 
a look. Okay, there are a few things down here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, that's just dark. What is this? This is probably sulfur. Yep, sulfur. I think I can make gunpowder with it. Alright, yeah, that's just a lava pool. It doesn't really go anywhere. Hmm, did I miss anything? Is this... No. Well, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping this cave right beside my house would have gone, uh... A little bit deeper, but you know, I think I got some mining done. I got a few few resources that I can go ahead and start smelting. What is this? Oh, I did get gold. Huh. I wonder if this mod has the uh, thing that lets you get better ores higher up. Well, we'll have to check that out. That's pretty cool if it does. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be setting up. I'm going to be trying to... Uh, get a quarry up, so I think that's what I'm gonna do next episode guys. I'm gonna probably go uh, Mining and get I think it's 12 diamonds for a quarry It takes a lot, but uh, it's definitely a good payoff especially if you have the resources to power it so I'm gonna be working on that and maybe getting some solar panels and Actually, no, I think I'll just go for straight-up generators and try to power them with either wood or charcoal because we have all this wood around us. And uh, we'll have to see if we can replant those trees. But if we can replant those really, really big trees. Then uh, wood might actually be a viable option for powering. Because uh, there's almost an unlimited supply of it. Also, I hear a skeleton around somewhere. Where's this guy? Oh, I need to fix that. <laughs> eh, looks ugly. I'll fix that later. Um... But yeah, guys, uh, I think that's really all I'm going to do for today. I know this has been a really long episode, but that's kind of what I how I want to do this series, is I really want longer episodes. Um, oh, the skeleton's in my house. That's where he was. Get out of here. I think there's a chicken in here, too. Oh, man, I could have sworn I saw a chicken. Maybe he jumped out the window. Is there a chicken right out here? He was in my house. Yeah, you're not getting away from me, chicken. But yeah, guys, uh, as I was saying, I really want to do longer episodes with this series. I kind of want to get away from the whole, like, just 15 minute, limit myself to 15 minute long episodes, you know? I want to actually get some stuff done every single episode. So, uh, I guess what I got done this episode is I discovered my new armor, which is fantastic. I got a brand new pickaxe, which is also fantastic. I finished building my house, and, um... I discovered a few new things about the meteorites so that's really cool i think uh next episode there's there's been another meteorite strike up there i don't know if you guys can see it i can't really zoom in but there's definitely been a meteorite strike up there and so i think maybe i will um go up there mine that get some new resources and see what's going on i might also uh go out for a little bit of exploring and see what else i can find so Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see y'all next time for episode three of New World Mod Pack. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we're gonna stick with the whole destroy the world thing or not, but I think I will. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.